Drew and Tristan Tate, more faith, no religion Cut the grass low, see the snakes, better vision Circumcision paws, cut their heads off Loyalty, no provision of boss Y'all gon' learn y'all lesson, class in what's the science Peter Hopefully. Tate brothers, every time you speak real They take something, either your life, freedom or money But them snakes coming, 300, yeah we might be few But heart off a Spartan, niggas carry sticks to make that bread Not talking Olive Garden, darling Parton, looking like Dolly Parton Please get the How to overcome this fear? You cannot overcome something which does not exist. Right now, are you in fear? Right now. Fear doesn't exist. False apparatus. False, false evidence appearing real. real. False evidence appearing real. Fear, fear does not exist. Fear was created by the whoever's gender to keep us crippled. So your fear, your fear is always about that which does not exist. You cannot fight or you cannot overcome that which does not exist. Fear is a gauge to let you know that you're, you're starting to vibrate on a low frequency and to change out of that frequency. Yes, sir. Welcome back to another episode of HSC High Frequency Convo. I'm your host, as always, Wes Hunt, and this is my co-host, Big Brother and Business Partner. Mr. God. And I got my other big brother, y'all know him before. He's been on this show like three or four times before. Big V off camera. AKA Vendetta. AKA Vendetta. Say what up. Yo, yo, what's up? So, AKA the Dynamite you know I mean? Kid. So, yeah, we're going to get into this motherfucking show. And I mean, like, share, and subscribe. If you get any value out any of this content, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe if you get no value. Just like, fucking it. It's, it's free. It's free. Just like, it's free. Just like, you know what I mean? Make the good guys win. For real. Like, come on, mm -hmm. man. Like, man. We on the ground, ground, boy. He took his shirt off of this episode. It's hot, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's he hot. took his shirt off this episode. He said, yo, bro, I'm going to get sexy. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I'm going to get sexy. I think he's going to draw more females into the show. You know what I'm saying? I did the same. Hey, bro, do what you got to do. Do the LL. Yo, bro. Do the LL right now. It's hot as fuck. And he got that female album coming out, ladies. So he's trying to show y'all. He's advertised for the female female recovery suit. So he got the whole thing and everything going just for y'all. I got, I got so my shorty in Men, my don't baby. be disturbed by it. Don't be, I was a little disturbed when I came to the studio. So I was like, yikes. But I was like, all right, I get it. I like I said, it. everybody I know is Brooklyn, New York right now. And it's hot as motherfucking Yo, hell. me and V ain't got our shirts off. Yo, so you don't got the shirt off right now, but you always have your fucking shirt off. Hey, whoa, whoa. Oh, that shit. Die. No, 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 no. Die in the line of fucking Brooklyn every chance you get. No, no, no. But let's get back into the shizzle. On the road. I mean, like, share, subscribe to ETW TV. Follow us on SoundCloud, Western LG. Look out for Seymour Reed. Go check us Wolf Matter 2 if you haven't already. Look out for Pocket Animal. All bars, no beats. Check out Sam at Wolf Matter 2. Me, my mic, and my bitch. All the other freestyles. All our wolf shit for 15 years. From all the wolves, check out everything. You know what I'm saying? If you want to check out the old school shit, back in the yeah, track, back track in the out everything with the track, frequency with the fam did together, yeah. and all the individual fam tracks. Show love to the wolves, and you, you understand what where we going. Yes, yeah, sir. But um, we're gonna get into this episode right now. This content, I gotta give. You know what I mean? I call him like almost like Big V and my other brother John, and I call him like my other like special guest co-host that you'd be always here. My man Side Guru, just like um Psych. To go just like Billy Carson, and I call him like I always like our extended special guest. You know what I mean? Because I mean, what, what we talk about, or all the, all the subject matters we have, or sometimes even our thoughts, like all the way we feel, or what we, what we know, what's parallel to what they do. So we got another content coming from Side Guru. And I mean, go check out the other, uh, the other, the other episode, episode 65. What was that about again? Um, that was about death. death. Yeah, death. Yeah, and th it's three parts of that. Go check out all the three parts of that. We also had Side Guru on there. We had, um, OSM, and if not, Robin, Robin Wolak, Dr. Robin Wolak, or something like that, I'm not mistaken. And most important of all, you had us, so go, go, go watch it. Definitely, you know what I mean? Like, like fuck them niggas, go watch nah, it. Nah, 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 we use Nate content, you got it. That's who I am. Nah, we got it, what's for it. And I, I, I fuck with them, you know what I mean? We use Nate content, I got to give you all your credit. Nah, 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 no disrespect and pure fire yeah. operation frequency yeah. energy, because I was low vibration earlier and yesterday, so we <laughs> be good today. <laughs> But yeah, we fucked with y'all, man. Thank y'all for what y'all do to this. All of be all on the same team, try to spread light. Now, I me, mean, what y'all do this shit. But like I said, yo, let's get into episode 65 of High Frequency Combo. We know y'all love it. Let's get it shaking. Uh, this episode is going to be about two parts, as always, usually three, but it's going to be two parts this time. It's going to be about fear and courage. And the first episode is going to be about fear. And we can go into uh, Trouble by Fear, just change your channel. And I really love where he's going with it. So yeah, I love it. Change the just change the frequency. I already know where he's going with it, like I said. Oh, so let's get into it. My man, it's good. Let's get it shaking. Let's do some love. Uh, many times uh, in my daily life, uh, fear stops me from doing uh, 
small things and bigger things. Fear uh, from failure, fear from uh, maybe from rejection sometimes. <coughs> uh, how to overcome this fear? You cannot overcome something which does not exist. Right now, are you in fear? Right now. That I may say something damaging. <laughs> Is it the fear? <laughs> Every moment of your life you are in fear? No. So, when you're not in fear, just stay like that. Because to create fear, you have to use excessive imagination. To not be in fear, you don't have to do anything. Fear is happening because of excessive imagination, things that have not happened, you're creating. What may happen? in your mind, happens in thousand different formats and most probably it never happens. The things that you feared, take hundred things that you have feared, probably ninety-nine of them never happened, isn't it? Yes. So your fear, your fear is always about that which does not exist. You cannot fight or you cannot overcome that which does not exist. We can overcome something with that exists. You cannot overcome that which does not exist. You just have to give up that effort. Enjoy the fear. After all, it's your making. You like horror movies. Yes, uh, I mean you're saying no, but you're, you're producing them. Just they're not making money, that's all. Fear means you're producing horror movies in your mind. Nobody else is willing to watch. Tch, that's bad for the producer. But you're producing them. So, you produce something else. Produce a comedy, a love story, suspense, thriller. Try and see today. Just sit down. Produce a love story, a suspense thriller, a comedy, five, five minutes mo movies you make in your mind, really. Start using your mind differently, it's just gotten into your pattern. Just gotten into your pattern of just creating horror movies all the time. You have watched enough horror movies, they're boring. Create something else. <laughs> Even it's not that if you produce these movies, those things will happen in your life. Still they may not happen, at least you enjoy the movie. <laughs> in reality it may not happen, so what? At least you enjoy what's happening in your mind, if you cannot enjoy what's happening in the world, isn't it? That much privilege every human being deserves, isn't it so? Even if the world is not kind to him, at least his own mind should be kind to him, should produce some nice movies. <laughs> Yo, man, that's prophetic. You know what I mean? Sad Guru, he went through basically what is fair, and we're gonna go right into it. What is fair? And let's start. Let's start off with what is fair. Like you said, you, I couldn't say it no fucking better. Fair doesn't exist. False evidence was false. False evidence appearing real. real. False evidence appearing real. Fair, fear does not exist. Fear was created by the whoever's gender to keep us crippled. Fear is not only something like, yo, a scary movie or you're scared of heights or you got a phobia. Fear is the number one crippler and ha that has everybody. And the fucking... even depression, anxiety, uh, not wanting to talk to a woman or not wanting to settle down because they got heartbroken one time before or not this and not. Fear. It's all fear and it's all fake. So fear but what is fear? Even if it's fake, I'm just trying to just give you a definition of what my definition of what is fear. Fear is something that holds you back. Fear is the unknown. Fear is the unknown yes. and something that, that that holds you back. That's what that's what fear, fear is. What you can't un, not, not, what you can't see, what you don't know what's gonna be next. What's, what's fear? In your in, in your definition. Yeah, to be honest with you, I, I believe fear 
is a gauge to let you know that you you start to vibrate on a low frequency like that. and to change out of that frequency. To me, I, this is what I've been theorizing on for a minute. I believe that all the, the, the low vibration frequencies like fear, sadness, depression, anxiety, I believe that like you in a car and the car alerts you when you're running low in gas, I believe that those emotions that you're feeling are just alerting you that your bro, you start to vibrate low. You know what I mean? Get out of that state. Like you, I think you just said that. Get out of that state. You know what I'm saying? Get out that state. So you, you ain't supposed to embrace it. I say you embrace it in the sense that you feel it and you let it go. You don't stay there and start creating illusions so, in your head of what might so happen. I'm, 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 I'm piggybacking it because we asked fear quick, fast, and say, oh, but it's wrong. What, what do you think fear is if you, in your definition? Okay, you got, to me, you got most to do with anxiety. I could agree with that too. I think the fear causes anxiety, but yeah, yeah I, I, think think that's a, I think that's a fact. Okay. I think anxiety could cause the fear. But too. Uh, so this this the, this this the bridge question of why do so much people let fear control their life? Because they don't understand what fear is. Mm. I, I think, didn't take it, but touch that for a little bit. I think if people understood the the emotions they were feeling, that they would understand what it is. I think if you were more mechanical in a sense, without losing our sense of being human beings, for instance, like you want to be happy, you want to be empathetic. You want to be loving, you want to be giving, you want to be in these states because this is high frequency vibrations. And I believe the other states is low frequency vibrations. And I believe that if we understood that, why would you not know me? Why would you intentionally put yourself in a low state vibration? If you understood that that's what it was doing if you understood that when you in that state you're trapped in nothing but low frequency things low frequency niggas low frequency jobs low frequency bitches low frequency love so if you understood that that why would you then dwell in being sad or depressed or in fear of something when you know it's just it's like for like like Sagu said for the most part most of the things we fear never come true and i want to touch on a few things but before i go and say my thing um it says fear doesn't exist basically you creating a horror movies i wrote that down because that's something i've always not in that kind of way but i've always said that like yo you could literally as a selling story of camera i'm gonna go through it briefly like i literally created i, I, I was always known as some wild nigga or some rest of these toughest as wild west is crazy you know what i mean but and i always know that because what i'm doing I might say off camera, not literally, but metaphorically off camera. What I'm doing about myself, what I'm researching about this, and how my mind is working, how I'm looking at life. I'm like, I'm more than just some fucking crazy, just wild. Like, I'm smart. So I wanted the world to know me as somebody that's smart, somebody that could be articulate, somebody not to fucking be not to carry something that could, could think with the best of them, could talk with the best of them, which like, I wanted to be that person. I started doing things, but it's getting into debates with people that's fucking smarter than me or could debate better than me or looking at certain things, reading books, L, researching certain things that he would tell me to look up or people would tell me to look up and really just going into it and it's really going into it because I want to be looking, but I created that fucking character. So y'all create, I don't say y'all because I did that at one point, but I, I, I refuse to do that shit now, but at one point, we all create this fucking horror movie in our head. And like ninety percent of what they create in their head, and somebody else said that shit. I mean, and I don't want to make up the name. Is it's it's in your head. Ninety percent of your fear is in your head. And I can I can attest to that many times. Going back to school, you you nervous about something. You get to school, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody's even thinking about you. You know, used like damn, I, that whole weekend I was just <laughs> thinking about. Nobody cares. Like everything's in your motherfucking head. So fear is something that is created. And fear that was, and they, they know it, since it wasn't real. So they harp on it. They fucking adjust. They Listen, harp on it. They, they put it out there. That's like pump horror movies out ah, too. And, to and, 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 Negative yeah. news information. I'm gonna say that. They yeah. right there. Listen, they harp anybody who's anybody. They harp on it, so you can create realities in your mind and then project realities in real life time that don't have to be. If you listen to anybody, to anybody, I challenge anybody. Leave in the comments. Challenge me. Listen, any motivation person, because all the niggas, motherfuckers, successful people on the motivation thing, or listen to people that any, they always bring up news. They say, don't watch news. Yeah, I don't watch you news. And I said that 10 watch, years I ago. TV, I, I said that 10 years ago, bro. I said, I do not watch news. One, I was a kid, and I saw a fucking segment on news saying good news. I was, oh, this was, I was, I was a smart motherfucking kid. I was a kid. I said, good news? So if this little 10 second segment is good news, what is the other hour? Mm -hmm. It's like, 
Bad news. It's like when it's you, better to keep you in fear. Like Don't ride the train. Let's get a slash. Do this. The rapers on the news. Do you want to do? You don't want to leave your house if you look at the news, bro. Like you turn TV. You turn the TV on this. But it's killing everybody in the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's meant then to keep you fucking scared. Fear, creating a, that you're gonna not die. Thinking. That you're gonna Occupy. die. That you're gonna get yeah. That's I'm what it's for. And then don't not you go, bro. No, and then I, I'm gonna just piggyback over that because what I was about to say. Oh, and, and two seconds. Two seconds. Why the super? Um, because I, I went on, on a tangent. Why do so much people live out of fear and let? People let fear control your life. I love what you said because a lot of people can't even recognize it, and it's hard. Even that's that's the number one root factor. But why people let so much fear control their life? In my opinion, in my experience, when I was in that way, because it's comfortable. It feels like home. Like I said, home not always gotta be comfortable, nigga. Some people go home to abusive fucking parents and abuse your, and, and that's still it, it's called fucking Stockholm syndrome. It feels like home. I was there. Negativity feels like home. It's comfortable. It's what you know to have nothing going right in your life and say. That have nothing going on in your life, right in your life, and say, fuck that. I'm still gonna be the man. I'm still gonna get out of this shit. I'm still gonna do this. I'm still. And nothing is going right. You gotta be a strong minded nigga when you can say, fuck it. This shit sucks, yo. And, it, and, and you got all your shit is, is real. What you're gonna do is real. You gotta dig me, but like, it feels like home. It's used to it. It's easy. What the fuck? Some people can't control that shit. No, 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 no. Can. No, no, yes, you can. Answer that, we can go to that. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe we, you, y'all can. No, we, we, no, maybe, maybe because we choose to. Choose to. Maybe because we that's make a choice. Thing. Only thing that's different. That's the only different. You know how I know that? Because for years, I was doing making another choice. Most of my, how about this? I, I said for years. Most of my motherfucking life, I'm keeping the G real to niggas. Most of my life, I'm 36 years old. Most of my life, for the last four years, five years, probably like four years, I would say, three years, strong, four years. I've been, but 32 years, I was making other choice. So that's how I know it's a choice. Nobody can tell me nothing different. Now I'm like, and I know you for the same. How much time you made the other choice that like Oh, it's a choice. It's a choice. This, this choice ain't easy. The, the, Me be making the hands, yeah, busting sweats. I'm I will sweats go back. It's not easy. Nobody holds accountability mm. for their fucking actions. I tell so that, now that. here we go. I tell to that. prove that, mm. first thing he said out of his mouth is mm. not everybody can control it when that's everybody can. Passing the buck on. Instead of saying, yo, it's me. Do, that's right? the fucking problem here. Nobody holds accountability for the actions. And I'm telling you, and motherfuckers who kids boy, this thing hops on the shit every day. And I'm gonna tell you once again, and I'm gonna tell you again. Because of the goddamn Bible. Because they gave you the God and the devil, they gave you good and they gave you bad and they chose they told you when things go right for you is God, when things go bad is the devil. And not telling you who made the choice for things to go wrong. But, 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 who made the choice? But, but did, did you know what did, did you know how to get okay, how about this? And you know my man always going to tell but like how about this? And I and I don't disagree with that. But how about this though? I'm playing y'all game. For the guy, for, for people that believe, the Christian and the I'm not downplaying nobody's shit. Cool. For people that believe, right? Boom. And, and, and the Christian Bible, what it says, faith that works is dead. What the fuck does that mean to y'all? In the, in the um, Muslim Bible, it says, you take one step towards God, take two. Steps, two, steps, two, steps, two steps. If I'm not mistaken, if all this means, this is y'all shit, it's not ours. All this means, in layman's terms, what? Since you saying uh, on, on, on the last episode, what are you doing? That's what that means. What are you doing? There's nobody, there's no sky daddy, like my nigga Billy Carson said, gonna come down and say, out of if, nowhere. If and, that and was the, the book, case, it would have happened a long time ago. The Wizard of Oz and the Matrix, I would say, is the, is the biggest symbolism of what the world is. The Wizard of Oz, we're on, some, we're all on the road. The yellow brick road is the path of life. You're like you. You feel me? You're on that path of life, and everybody's looking for something. Mm -hmm. I just said a story when I was looking. I had coverage. Brains. Some people look for coverage. Some people look for heart. Some people and some people look for fucking oh, soul. Do you know what? Do you know what makes no, you? I'm two seconds. Do you know what makes you demonic? I want to use that word. No, go ahead, go go. Ahead. You could be a. There's demons running around here. You know what? Like, we just have to know humanity left. Right. You're a demon. I don't know if y'all knew that. You're right. a fucking demon. You have no humanity left. You don't care if you got no empathy left. Humanity. You don't care. Yeah, you will step on that. Fuck it. Anybody giving you the go. Right. You're backstabbing family. You're fucking your fucking brother's girlfriend. You're trying to fuck it. Fuck it. Just you know, your father's monster. You you don't got you you got right. no. You're a demon. Because you can be rich. You, because you, you started. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What that humanity means? What what? Humanity means to me is simple. Treat others. We want to be treated. Done. 
Yeah. Don't say she didn't. Say it's not hard. That's not that's hard. Easy. Remember when we had a show on Laws? How you want to be treated? You want to do that to you? you remember, remember when we had a show on Laws? And I yeah. said, my only law would be you treat somebody the way oh, you yeah, want yeah, to be treated. Yeah. And the minute you violate yeah. that law, you're going to have to deal with the consequences of your actions. You're not deep. This is simple. You're not deep that laws. And I'm going to let you talk before we have to. I'm going to get you to let the last word. But if you have watched the episode, remember that. Say, you know how deep that law is? I just said, I did that. I how deep it is. It will be. Simple. Peaceful. Remember, I no, said that. You got know, Christians, Catholics, everybody. Business, but if everybody had that one little simple law, treat everybody the, the way you want to No be more treated. racism, no more this, no more That's racism. It. You need to be gay, no more to give a fuck. Do no. I want my child to succeed? It'll all yes. be done. It'll so be then your child to succeed. Yeah, it'll all be done, bro. Do I want to be able to pay my rent? Yes. So you simple. should be able to pay your why rent. Why so hard? The street others don't want to be You know treated. why it's hard? Not they gay, you know why black, it's hard? white, you know why it's hard? tall, black. You know why it's hard? You that one rule, you done. You know why it's hard? You know why it's hard? And you wonder why it's hard? Because you brainwash? No, because of fear. It's hard because of fear. It's hard because, it's hard because of fear. Because you're worried about, damn, his kid may get more than mine. So I'm gonna try to step on you. You're worried about, oh, this nigga's gay. My nigga, the nigga like gay man. What are you worried about that for? Fear! Fear. Oh, why is she on this job making the same amount of me? Fear. What do it matter? She doing the same work. Fear. Fear. Yo. Fear. Fear. And it lasts fear. And it lasts one minute. Quick, fast. Let's go on the next one, baby. Fear sucks. That's <laughs> my last fear. word. My last one's on fear, man. I agree with exactly what you said. My last one's on fear has to be this, bro. It's simple. Stop choosing to be fearful. Thank you. That's what you're doing. Wolf. Wolf. Money don't make the man. Man make the money. You are who you are. That's what you trying to tell me? All you got is time.